Tell me where we're going now. Um, we're going, going to, to deliver um, okay, um, the candy grams to this class. class. All right, let's go on in. So basically, um, we are right. The, uh, we made these candy grams, and then people in this our school um, bought them, and we were selling them. And the money raised, we are. Um, donating to sick kids. For Katie and Justina, organizing these candy grams has been an extra sweet Valentine because they are raising money in honor of one of their students, Katie's little sister. Basically, she got sick and she needed to go to sick kids and she's been there and now she's in Holland Bloorview and she's recovering really good. When Katie would go visit her little sister Kelly, who is also a grade four student at the school, often Kelly's best friend, Justina, would go with them. Kelly is my best friend and I really miss her. They were both very thankful for what Sick Kids Hospital did for Kelly. So they asked their principal if there was something they could do to give back. They thought Valentine's Day was the perfect opportunity. They uh, take care of her really good um, and she can, I like how she, like right now she can talk and physically do lots of stuff now. And now today as these special valentines were delivered, all of the students got to share in their sweetness. Uh, valentine's cards from Nathan and my brother Gabriel. You look pretty happy. Yeah, I do because I like candy a lot. And in the feeling of pride to have helped Sick Kids Hospital. Because it's nice to help people when they're, when they're sick. And, and, it's, and it's just nice. What do you think Kelly would think of all of this? I think she would be very happy. And she won't miss out on any of these sweet treats. Her sister is going to bring her candy grams to her in the hospital. Um, I'll give them to her and then she'll be really happy and stuff. So. And the best part is that this heartfelt idea has raised more than $500. And that is the sweetest Valentine that these students could have asked for. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.